Summer is also typhoon season in Hong Kong, and for some residents, that means it's time to place their bets. They keep debating if a typhoon will be on the Hong Kong Observatory signal scale, which ranges from 1 to 10. If the typhoon signal does not reach 8, some punters will act as if their favorite sports teams had just lost. I'm here at the Hong Kong Observatory's headquarters, where the smart systems are learning from the past storms and providing insights, helping experts pinpoint a typhoon's path with precision. Over the years, Several typhoons have walloped the city. The 1906 Hong Kong typhoon killed 3% of the population. Other typhoons, including Wanda in 1962, Mangkut in 2018, and Saula in 2023, all caused widespread damage. That's why the observatory, which was established in 1883, is mainly tasked with telling the public about severe weather events. It helps people prepare and take cover if they need to. But predicting the path of a storm and how powerful it's going to be is no easy task. The forecasters usually um, start by analyzing the remote sensing data, satellite data, radar data, as well as the um, observation data from the automatic weather station and also ship report to determine whether a tropical cyclone warning signal is required. Wu Tip almost became the first typhoon signal number 8 of 2025. After an unexpected turn, the tropical storm did not make a direct hit on the city. Some Hong Kongers chalked it up to the so-called Lee's Field, a modern myth inspired by Hong Kong's wealthiest business mogul, Li Ka Sheng. That suggests an invisible force field stops the observatory from issuing a T8 signal so that business can keep going. HKO always put the public safety first. Um, but weather forecasting and warning is a very challenging task because there are always certain degrees of uncertainty about the weather. So rest assured, the least force field does not exist. In the case of Wu Tip, the observatory found that AI models for tropical cyclone prediction outperformed traditional methods. Preliminary assessment by HKO showed that the AI weather model can uh, generally predict this uh, last weather's evolution better than the conventional numerical weather prediction model. But Dr. Liu says that rather than replacing traditional forecasting tools, AI is more likely to assist them. The observatory still plays the biggest role when it comes to natural disaster prediction using old and new technology. We understand how much the public care about the tropical um, cyclone warning signal because the tropical cyclone can bring significant impact to the society. That's why Hong Kongers want the most accurate forecasts possible, especially those who worked outside or have lengthy commutes. The forecasters say a mix of traditional methods and new technologies should help the observatory keep everyone safe and dry.